this is our lounge with uh, cool drinks and stuff. Okay. So it's UP. It's up 42. Paket für UP 42? It's up 42. So, are you still working at UPS? <clears throat> oh, it's um, up 42. Have you ever had trouble pronouncing something that you have just read? Or having to explain that a given verb starts with a W, as in, for example, wasp 12B? Well, you are not alone. There are millions of people on this planet right now who cannot properly pronounce the names of their companies. And there is no LinkedIn feature for the company name pronunciation. Well, at least not yet. We are here to help. It's up 42, folks. Up 42. Okay, so what does it mean? Well, up because we do believe that one of the best ways to solve issues on Earth is by going up. Ah, you mean with a starship or something? Well, let's just say that we have a bunch of satellite imagery data easily accessible in the blink of an eye right now through our platform. You can see from above what's impossible on the ground, right? So, what about 42? Is that your favorite number or something? Well, kind of. You probably know about the book The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. Anywho, in this 1979 science fiction book, 42 is the answer to the ultimate question of life, universe and everything. Which was calculated, by the way, in 7.5 million years by a supercomputer called Deep Thought. Wait, an answer to what? Good question. Even Deep Thought could not answer that. Imagine they had to build another supercomputer, which is Earth, by the way, just to find the original question. Okay, so what you're saying is that the name Up42 is a tribute to the book and that the truth about our planet is in the sky and that we as humans need to solve real-world issues by making it easier for people to access and analyze geospatial data and levering its downstream potential for the socio-economic benefit of all? Is that what you're saying? Let's keep it simple. Let's use simple to read and pronounce names. Urururr or Toda It's up 42, folks. It's up 42. It's a... Uh, big... Spanish?